This is a brief introduction to the CAN networking protocol. CAN is an acronym for Controller Area Network. Introduced in 1983 for use in automobiles, the protocol has evolved and is now the subject of multiple ISO standards. CAN is now also commonly used in other types of vehicles, industrial controllers, and medical equipment. Here are a few reasons why the CAN protocol is so popular. There is no addressing overhead. All messages are sent across the entire network to all receivers. This method simplifies the encoding within the network and speeds transmission traffic. And since all messages are sent to all nodes across the network, components can easily be removed or added within the vehicle system. There are multiple types of CAN networks. In fact, it's common for a single vehicle to have multiple networks of several types, all connected through a gateway. This allows all of the electrical systems in the vehicle to be monitored easily. A single packet of information sent across a network is known as a frame. CAN networks carry four types of frames. A data frame carries the basic information from each transmitting source. The remote frame can be sent from a controller across the entire network to request a response from a specific node. When a node detects an error in the data, it sends an error frame to notify the entire network. This frame triggers the originating node to resend its data. The overload frame was originally created to accommodate early electronics. Modern control circuits run at a higher speed and the overload frame is rarely used in current applications. Now that you are more familiar with what goes on inside a vehicle network, here are some examples of how the data might appear in diagnostic software used to read the network traffic. These lines are reporting a data stream from three different CAN networks. If any of the nodes were transmitting error frames, we would see a flag in this column. Nodes are assigned specific numbers for message priority. This column shows the unique ID numbers for each data source. This column shows actual data being transmitted by the nodes in hexadecimal format. This concludes this introduction to the CAN Vehicle Networking Protocol. Thank you for your attention.